hey what's up friends welcome back to the channel in this simple video we are going to be utilizing the rest countries api to have a simple drop down list of all the countries in the entire world so let's say you have a registration form and you want user to users to select their countries then you can automatically pick these countries from this api than hand coding them or writing them there in the form so we are going to be utilizing this API. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Even right now it's showing on the screen for you guys to try out. Let me put this side by side. Now our markup is very, very simple. We just have a parent div with a class of container an H1, this one, all countries drop down list. And then we have the select element with the ID of countries and I've just put the name attribute here in case you are working with a language like PHP this is where you hook on to get the value what the user selected on that on that drop down list so I'm just putting it there just for the sake but the most important part is the ID so it's this attribute of ID is the one that we are going to be hooking on to get this element and populating it with the option tags very very simple so i just have some internal stylings so i just set the body to display grid and set the container margin to auto so for in order to center it it will be somehow centered here in the middle so that's some simple trick in css in case you want to center something vertically and horizontally you just set the parent element to display grid and then the child element you give it margin auto for it to be centered enough of that we are here for javascript and we are going to be using the fetch api to get the data from this api let's get started so i have two files here app.js which is empty and index.html our markup remember we are just having this select element with the ID of countries. Let's get started. First, I will listen for the document load. I want everything to be fully loaded on the page in order to execute the code that is going to be inside this file. So document dot add event listener and we want to listen for the DOM content loaded. So we want everything to load on the page in order to execute the rest of the code that will be following so this is what it does so we are targeting the entire document and we are listening to this event so dom content loaded is everything fully loaded for us to run the code that's going to be inside here very very simple now let us now hook on this element hook on this element so remember it has this id of countries so I'll just create a variable here, const, and I call it select, select drop. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to assign it to document, document, dot query selector, query selector. And I'm going to select this ID of countries. So whatever ID that you use here, make sure it's the one you assigned to the variable that you'll be creating so we put the hash symbol and put the countries now i have I had a lot of guys complaining about this way of selecting elements so this some um, i'm used to css so i know an id is hash a class is a dot so it's a period stuff like that but for you guys in case you don't want to use this method you can just write select drop and then say document dot get element get element by id and then you put the countries so for you guys who like using this you can go for this as you can see here so here i'm just using query selector and here for you guys use get element by id but for that you don't put the hash symbol or pound symbol there so here i'm just selecting like you do with in css 
So for you guys who are good with this, you can continue with that. Let me just leave it there for reference. Let me just comment it out. So in case you want to use this method, go around and play with it. Let's get started. Now, as I said, we are going to be using the fetch API to get this data. So fetch, here it takes in the URL where you want to get that data. And this is the URL. So as I said, it's in the description below and it's also popping up right now on the screen. Copy the URL and pass it there. Then as you know, this returns a promise. So we say dot then, and it's going to be returning back the response from the API. So we shall say response. And then we are going to be returning the response, as I said, response.json. So this is JSON data that we are getting back from the API. This is JSON. Then dot then and then we want to get the data that is being returned back. And our first console.log the data. And then lastly, in case you run into errors, we can catch it, catch them, maybe the errors when they are very many, then error, then we also console.log the error. Let's go back to the page, right click, inspect, and we should be able to see some JSON data in our console. Console. So right now they are showing us we have an array with 250 objects inside. As you can see, this is what we are having. All these countries. So what we are going to do now, since we have the countries, since we can access this array, we are going to, we are going to loop through them. Remember now we are storing them in this word that we came up with. You can call it countries. So it's not supposed to be data as you see in different tutorials. You can call it countries because they are going to be very, very many. Let's just take it back to data, the one that you understand. Then we are going to loop through that. So data dot for each, I'm going to use the for each loop. And I'm going to say for each country, for each country, let me console this. Save that. Let us see what we are going to get in the console. So right now they are looping through all the countries and they are giving back us this object, each object having a country. So let's say this is Namibia. So we can just go into country dot name. So as you can see the first key property, its name, then we have the borders, the calling codes. So here we can say country dot name and they return back all the names of the countries. Save and in the console we should see a list of all the country country names. We can save in I saw calling codes. If I read the property very well, calling codes. Oh, undefined callings. I put S, maybe it's calling codes. Yeah, right now they will return back every calling code of that country. Very, very simple. But the one that we want is the name. So right now we can easily populate our select element with all these options, right? This is what you're going to do. 
we are going to create a simple variable here const let's use yeah let's use const let us use let let output equals nothing so at first we set it to nothing then here we can say output and we append it to this so we are going to put insert our HTML here so this option tag is the one that we want to inject into the select menu or select drop down so right now you can say dollar sign curly brackets so here since we are using these back ticks the temporary literals we can use the dollar sign and these curly braces and we dynamically insert in the value that we want so we shall say country dot name remember it was the first key value pair in this api where we got all these names so it's country the one that we are looping through each country dot name then let us inject this option tag inside this select element and by that remember we selected we tag we got that element here already so we shall say select drop dot inner html and i'm going to assign it to output remember here we first set output to nothing here we append this option tag and here we are injecting this element of option inside this select menu or drop down list save this and we should be able to see the countries so let me first remove this if i click here we should be able to see all these countries very nice right i guess you're not confused here so the first thing that we did here we got the response which it's json the return back json data so that then then we get the real actual data that we can work with then here i created a variable of output and set it to nothing then i went ahead and looped through all those countries that the api returns back to us and for each country i wanted to get back only the name so this property that you're seeing here dot name it's coming from the api so this this one you can't put any other word that is not on the api so we are using this name here to put in that so having this it won't make sense because you have to pass in the value of that country so here we say value again you pass in the same thing so let us write it to remember so dollar sign curly brackets country dot name because this is what will be taken to the database so whatever they find in this value attribute is what will be taken to the database so if you are to let's say inspect this check this so the value here it's just what the user sees but the actual data that will be taken in the database it be in the option art in the value attribute so here what you're seeing is what will be taken to the database very very simple so I have some simple markup here to show you how it will look like in a real scenario. So I've had this simple markup here, the entire tutorial, so I can remove this and then paste that form. So this is how it will be looking like. Let's say you want the username, email, password, confirm password, and then the country where the user will just come to the select menu and select their country than you hand coding all those countries by yourself you just utilize this rest countries api and you'll be able to have this data so the important part is this value attribute make sure you pass that country in the value attribute so whatever the person selects on the list 
say this my country i'll be selecting uganda so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and i will be seeing you in the next tutorials peace